Good morning and welcome to Social Work 300. I'm going to present a five-minute lecture overview of what this class is all about or maybe you might want to call this some tips and tricks that you can use to succeed um, so, and do well in this class. I know this class has a reputation of being a very difficult class for most students but it's really not hard if you're willing to read follow directions, watch the video lectures, come to class, and turn in your work. There's a required textbook. Each and every student must have their own textbook. There's no sharing of textbooks. There's no making it through the class successfully without having a recent updated version of the textbook. And make sure you have the right textbook because from every semester the book changes, things are added and or deleted, so you don't want to buy a used textbook and have wrong information in there. Um, your assignments this semester con will consist of homework, projects, exercises, exams, quizzes, etc. Uh, you are expected to attend class, but if you have the flu or you're sick, then don't come to class if you're sick. Um, get a doctor's note or health clinic note, whatever, and just bring that when you return to class. You can probably keep up with your assignments because most of them are available online, but that's entirely up to you. I strongly suggest you don't fall too far behind in this class. We use a lot of different technology in this class. Um, most of it, the main reason for using this much technology is about for you, the student learner, how to think critically and um, communicate your findings, communicate information that you as a future researcher will you utilize somehow in your chosen profession. And you want to be able to like communicate that to other people. This is our face one of the pages from our Facebook site that we use for class. Um, I post pretty much all the announcements there. Um, you have some student responsibilities. Um, actually all of this information that I'm reviewing right now is contained in your syllabus which you do need to download and print and have a copy for yourself. Um, we also use a website called uh, Ning, N-I-N-G, which students post their pictures and talk a little bit about yourself, and that's a really good way, I think, for us to create a community in this class, a community of learners. Due dates and deadlines are firm. Um, my goal every semester is for every student to pass the class successfully, but that won't happen if you're not able or willing to um, put in some time and energy towards the class. There's video lectures for pretty much every um, exercise and or project. Um, if you see that there's something missing that you think should be a video lecture, let me know. I'd be happy to you know think about um, creating one if it's, if it's needed. Email accounts. Uh, you need to check your email account because I do send out quite a bit of information from time to time. Um, you can use your TigerNet or your Gmail account that you're going to create for this class. You need to check the course website. Um, primarily you can reach that through uh, tuskegee.blackboard.com and or I'll give you another um, link to use. If you wait until the last minute to try to complete your assignments, you will be very frustrated and you will have problems. It never fails. I've taught this class for four or five years now and consistently students who wait till the last minute always have problems and are very frustrated and get very ups emotionally upset. So don't let that happen to you. Uh, you should come, like, come to class and you should participate. You should ask questions if you're not sure. Uh, cell phones, Facebook, you shouldn't use your cell phone during class unless, of course, you're using it to take notes. Um, but please put your cell phones on vibrate. And you should stick to the Facebook pages uh, regarding course announcements if you're using Facebook in the computer lab. Read the syllabus. Only submit PDFs. No DOCX. Don't slide any documents under my door. That's automatic F. I don't give I grades unless, of course, you meet the university criteria. APA style is required. Make sure that you do not email assignments to me. Um, what are we doing here? When you email me, make sure you put SOWK300 in the subject line. And these are tools that you will need. So, good luck.